is GM forgetting about us and by us I mean the normal car buying people food for thought be right back How's it going everybody? Hope you're having a wonderful day as always. Today's video is going to be super short. I promise I'm not going to delve into a whole bunch of, bunch of facts and all this stuff. I'm just going to lay it out there and let you decide. My opening comment was, is GM forgetting about us normal people? Let me preface that by just saying that right now, everybody is so caught up in the Camaro sales for the third quarter being way down. I mean, like right now, I think there's only... 1700 or so Camaros being bought and I'm not going to put too much stock into that right now But I mean let's face it ever since the fifth gen They've just gone downhill. They can't seem to get a grasp on what we are looking for Which is what this video is truly about. We'll get to that in a minute But they've steadily gone down and down and down and down and there could be many factors to that, but I'm gonna I'm just gonna step out on a limb here and say that everybody's overreacting to the numbers themselves. Don't use that as a sole basis. But rather look at the whole picture because right now we've had an election and it's just the most contested that I can remember in history. It might have you know, back in the thirties or so it might have been something near this, but I was born in the sixties and I've never seen anything like this in my life. So you've got that going on. You've got the whole COVID thing going on. You know, people aren't going out and searching for new cars because, number one, a lot of the lots were shut down for for a while because they're not an essential, they're not a necessity, they're not essential, essential job is what I'm trying to get out. So a lot of those was closed down. And then now you've got millions upon millions, myself included, now that is laid off due to COVID. So we're not going to run out and spend anywhere from three to ten thousand dollars for a down payment on a car just to buy a brand new car to have a high monthly payment, double insurances, and all that stuff. You know, we're just not going to do it. So in short, I personally would not put too much thought into just the numbers. You need to look at the bigger picture. My thing and my point of the video today about GM forgetting about the normal buyer is actually based on numbers let me explain what I'm talking about my thought on the whole thing is I think GM in general has just lost touch with their buyer base I really do because if you go on any lot Camaros the Volts the trucks the Suburbans the, the Tahoe's any SUV any truck any car on their lot the prices have went astronomical I was on a, a lot the other day just looking around and everything they we talked about a price on a car and everything I was just I told them I wasn't interested but I, I wanted to find out what how stuff was working right now and they had financing for eight years eight years for a car ladies and gentlemen the financing I'm like oh my god that is so ridiculous eight years for a car not not Camaro time, nope. And part of the problem, or most of the problem, is their pricing. It is so high. I mean, a a run of the mill. I mean, now granted, they did come up with the LT1 model, which if you get the very, very, very basic model, is supposed to be just under forty grand. Okay, which is very good. You know, that's that's a good deal considering what you're getting but then again like i said considering what you're getting you're looking at 42 to 45 thousand for a chevy volt you're looking at anywhere from 40 thousand to 75 thousand for a camaro now granted the 75 thousand is the zl11 la i'm just saying i'm giving you the range so don't 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 bust blood vessel there but then you go and you start looking at the pickup trucks and the base models are around 50 and then you you go up to like the Z71 package and everything now you're pushing 75 80,000 dollars a, a, a 
Suburban starting at $82,000. Oh my God. <sighs> GM has just lost touch with their buyer base, in my opinion. Now, of course, these, ve these vehicles have the latest, greatest technology. They have all the infotainment centers, the satellite radio, all the I Apple crap everybody wants. Uh, you know, the heads up displays, the heated seats, the massaging seats, the air cooled seats, and even the seats in the back because you forgot you got your kid in the car with you. I don't know how that works, but you forgot you got your kid with you. Okay. <sighs> Great parenting skills there. But anyhow, it, it, what I'm saying is they have the latest, greatest of everything. Blind spot monitoring. Because you're so distracted or in your own world, you can't look in the mirror to, or, or turn your head to see if there's a car beside you. Or, you know, look over in the other lane. Now, granted, these cars have a huge blind spot, so you have to rely on your mirror. But how hard is it? You're driving down the road, glance over, look in the mirror before you get over, right? Glance over, and if you ain't exactly sure because you have a huge blind spot, give it a little bit of gas. Put a little bit more distance between you and a car if it was there, and then it would show up in the mirror. My point is, you want all these things. They put them in the cars, and now they're so high, nobody can afford to buy them. And what is the answer, the remedy to this? I honestly don't know. You're either going to have to come out with more base model cars and let everybody build up from there, or go back to the old school way you know here's the here's the order form fill out the car the way you want it and this is the price of it right but the, you walk on a lot now and if you think you're going to get a car for under forty five thousand dollars you are seriously seriously mistaken unless on a gm lot now you can go somewhere like your suzu or you know hyundai or something like that yes you could do it and that's why those cars are selling so much better than GM vehicles. It's not that people like the other product better. They do make some very, very good products. But the pricing difference. And let me let me go over a few things that just what people say doesn't make sense. Okay. Now whenever you get a new vehicle and the first, you know, everybody does the top five things I hate. I've got them out there. I've done them. And I'm going to be doing an updated one, but it's going to be more of along the lines of owned the car for so many years now has those has that list changed you know something like that but you get people that say oh there's too much plastic there's too much plastic right i don't like it because it's got so much plastic but yet when you look at some of their other videos they're complaining about how much the car costs well can you imagine how much this car would cost if they would do like Porsche or Ferrari and wrap this whole dash in leather or Alcantara or something along those lines. What the heck? Can you imagine how much more this car would cost? Or it doesn't have this, it doesn't have that. Well, you're just adding to the price of the car. But yet you want to complain about the car. And you know, so it doesn't make sense. But that's a whole different video. I'm not going to get into all that. The main point is... I think GM has forgotten us, middle of the road, family with kids, buyer. I really do. Not every family can afford to go out and buy $82,000 Suburban. Not every family can go out and, you know, some, you know, this would have to be like a single family car. I mean, if I had a kid, I, it, it would love to ride in the back seat. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. But, and it would. I would make it work. But, you yeah. know. All jokes aside, this is not really a family car, you know. So I, I personally think that people are putting too much emphasis on the sales numbers because everything is going on with the pandemic and everything. And they really need to refocus their attention on the true reason GM is not selling vehicles. And now they put all their attention over to the electric side. They're, they're putting out all these electric vehicles. They want all these electric, what was it, 17 of their line, 17 models in their lineup that they want to be all electric by the end of next year or 2023. I can't remember which one it was. But anyhow, I think it was 2021 they wanted. But forget the year. Within the next year or so, they want 17 vehicles of their line 
to be hauling at you. <clears throat> that's going to do nothing but make the cost go up. That's going to make the maintenance fees go up. Because it costs a fortune to replace these batteries in these electric cars. I think, I, you know, the people at GM, I just think they need to go back to the drawing board and rethink their structure. Because it ain't working. I'm sorry. I love your cars. I love the designs and everything. But it just ain't working. So that's my take on it. What's your take on it? Drop comments in below. You know, like always, I really appreciate them. Am I just way off base? Am, have I lost touch with reality? Or do you guys and gals agree? Do you think something different? Put the comments below. Let's have a great discussion about what's really going on at GM. Until next time, I'll see you. Thanks so much for watching and take care.